Department of State Services arrest the Central Bank of Nigeria's Governor, Godwin Emifili. Now, the Department of State Services, DSS, have arrested Godwin Emifili, the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria. Now, his arrest is coming shortly after President Bola Ahmed Tinubu ordered his suspension and directed that he immediately hands over the affairs of the office to the deputy governor in charge of operations directorate, who will act as the central bank governor pending on the conclusion of an investigation and the reforms. Now, the Street Journal had reported extensively on how the secret police had done everything within its power to effect this arrest unsuccessfully. Now, the Department of State Services, the DSS, had filed its case expatriate motion against Emefili on December 7, 2022 seeking permission to arrest, probe, and detain him. Now, however, on December 9th, the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja declined the application filed by the DSS. In declining the motion, expatriate filed by the secret police, Justice J.T. Social, the chief judge, said that the DSS did not provide any concrete evidence to sustain its claims that Amifali was involved in terrorism, financing, and, crime, and economic crimes. Now, the court said that such an application should have been accompanied with a presidential approval because of the grave implications for the economy in if the CBN governor was arrested and detained. Now, Murphy was accused by the DSS of financing terrorism, aiding and abetting terrorism, and committing other economic crimes. Now, the Department of State Services alleged that Murphy funded the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, with both the resources he raised for his failed presidential bid on the platform of the AI of the All Progressive Congress, APC, last year, and funds diverted from government coffers. Now, the secret police also accused the Mephili of fraud, money laundering, round tripping, and conferment of financial benefit to self and others. It said that he mismanaged public funds under his control. Now, a summary of the Department of State Service allegation under against Emefili as of February 2023. 1. Funding unknown gunmen, ESN and IPOB, with money he raised for his failed presidential bid last year and funds diverted from government coffers. 2. Mismanagement of Nigerian social investment program, Nisral and the Anchor Browsers and Anchor Borrowers Scheme. 3. Illegal economic crimes of national security dimension. 4 money laundering, five, unwholesome activities through progress, six, round tripping, seven, conferment of financial benefit to self and others, eight, threat to national security, nine, criminal conspiracy to divert government resources, and ten, funding ter terrorism financing. Our Nigerians got to react about this update and it was no news to them. Now, as at 10.30 p.m., Tinubu suspended the CBN governor, and at 10.15, it's a breaking news. Now, EFCC just sent a Mifli invitation letter 20 minutes after suspension, and as at 10.55 p.m., DSS arrest Godwin and Mifli. That was the whole time frame on how everything occurred. And our Nigerians got reacting. Very surprised. This man was celebrated during the former regime when we were saying there is a gross misconduct in the CBN especially Honorable Kazuri, for most of Nigerians who are absolutely blind loyalists. The former president could not even keep quiet for attacking us. Seeing it now, they cannot tell former president his mistakes and don't want to allow others let him know. Okay, replying to the Sahara reporters, not only Emefili, but all the ministers and heads of government parastatals including the former president, Muhammad Buhari, should be arrested with immediate effect. However, the real question is, if Tinubu arrested all those guys, who will not arrest Tinubu for his own crimes? Or is Tinubu a sent when it comes to corruption in Nigeria? If the answer is yes, then the Mefili has done nothing wrong compared to what President Wala Ahmed Tinubu and others have done in the past. So a lot of these people are actually still talking. Now, furthermore, the arrest of the CBN governor is supposed to be for other government officials and not just him. 
I was literally so excited when I saw the new development. This is indeed a commendable act that a current president would file for the arrest of the Central Bank of Nigeria's governor. Well, I hope the GSS gets what you're looking for because we need justice all around Nigeria. Seeing this, I want to applaud President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, but my applaud will only be complete if he fishes out others that need to be arrested. I thought Godwin Emifili was a nice man. So all those things that the, C the DSS mentioned that he did, funding terrorism and the rest of them, was it really true? Anyway, I wouldn't blame the courts for dismissing the file last year because he doesn't even look like a man who could even hold the fly. But like I say, do not judge a book by its cover. Please do, you people should not forget Mickey to come and carry him. That man needs to be carried as well and investigated. I thought he was also an ESCC reader. What are they waiting for? If DSS can carry a Mifili, why can't ESCC come and carry Wiki? Okay. Wiki has been hit by a stray bullet. Okay. Another person here saying, um, Nigerians and their whole drama. I hope after now, they will bring out all the money he collected for himself and how sure that he's the one who sponsored IPOB. I can't really see a connection with that, but maybe the DSS have their proofs. Please, when he's in court, it should be televised. I just want to see the reaction of his face. That will make me laugh and probably it also make me cry because I'm also feeling a really disgraced being a Nigerian. Okay. Ever since President Tinubu got into power, a lot of drama has been going down in Nigeria. Trust me, if we decide to act Nollywood or Hollywood, we will be making the Oscars in less than a year. Money laundering and lots more. Just one person. Ten accusations. Is it that? They find it very easy. Little Nigerians money. One down and a million more to go. They need to arrest literally all of them. I think it should be on Nigerian's budget to start building more prison houses and rehabilitation centers. So when those people are picked up, they are sent to those places to avoid them corrupting the rest of us that are still sensible. The Zimbian governor looks like a man who doesn't even do anything much. But I'm surprised that he had this long list of accusations filed to his name. But I just want the I just want justice to be served. If President Tinubu thinks it's right to arrest him. He should also find it right to arrest other people because I think that the civilian governor is in a good is in a good standing with the All Progressive Congress. So he should use that emotion to, to also arrest those who are in good standing with the All Progressive Congress and are guilty of corruption.